Once nothing more than an optimistic idea, sustainability has become an imperative for our generation. Not because we're unique for loving our children, but because we know more about the Earth, how we affect it, and how clearly our own conscience is urging us to do better. But what does sustainability really mean? What does it actually look like in practice? Is living in a sustainable world even possible? For one farm operation in a small corner of that world, it's not only possible, it's happening at a place called Biotown Egg in the heartland of America. Biotown Egg is a second-generation production farm and livestock operation in rural Indiana. But it's also sustainability in action, where a multi-phase agricultural production cycle leaves literally nothing to waste. And a greener world is a living reality. Today, in the process of raising livestock for the consumer food supply, the Biotown Egg Farm also generates 120 megawatt hours of renewable electricity every day. Enough to power more than 5,000 homes, while also producing enough renewable natural gas to be the world's largest on-farm provider of clean energy to states with low carbon fuel standards. As a result, every year, Biotown Ag saves 200,000 tons of CO2 emissions from entering the atmosphere, nearly 128,000 tons of material from landfills, and 36 and a half million gallons of wastewater from treatment plants. But that's just the beginning of the farm sustainability story, because it's a story that's forever evolving and being retold as on-staff engineers and technicians continually seek new ways to reclaim and recycle in a sophisticated operation. This sophisticated operation is a full-cycle, closed-loop process with a starting point anywhere along the way. But let's begin at the entrance to the facility. Here, through partnerships with regional dairy producers, food production companies, grocery stores, and other similar commercial operations, Biotown Ag takes in almost a million tons of organic waste material every year, material that would otherwise wind up in landfills. These partnerships create a true win-win scenario in which the dairy farms and food companies can fulfill their own sustainability initiatives for waste disposal while Biotown Ag can put their material to productive use. Most of this incoming byproduct goes straight to another phase in the process to be explained in a moment. But much of the material goes to the next phase in the sustainability loop, Biotown Ag's livestock operation. Here, the farm mixes these select food materials together to create a proprietary high-nutrient feed program for its cattle. This feed plays a major part in the farm's ability to produce its unique Legacy Maker brand of beef sold into grocery stores and other retailers. How unique? Among all the beef graded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture every year, only around 6% earns the highest grade of USDA Prime. By comparison, the share of Legacy Maker beef that grades Prime is consistently above 50% which makes for an amazing eating experience featuring a distinctively robust beef flavor. Now naturally, livestock production yields its own byproduct, but here's where Biotown Ag is really changing agriculture, breaking barriers to achieve sustainability. When the continuous waste streams associated with raising livestock would otherwise be land applied to traditional manure applications, Biotown Ag instead reroutes these waste streams to a series of on-site fuel factories in the ground called anaerobic digesters. They're called digesters because they each function just like an animal's stomach. 
Inside a healthy stomach, live bacteria break down biodegradable material like food. The bacteria can only survive in an environment that is completely without air, hence the term anaerobic. Just like a stomach, the digester is completely airtight sealed and teeming with these important bacteria. Operators at Biotown Ag take the incoming dairy and corporate byproducts mentioned earlier, the materials that don't get mixed into the livestock feed, and merge it with the livestock waste. Altogether, these materials are channeled into the digesters, where they become something far more valuable. As the digesters go to work, breaking the material down, they yield two separate commodities, a natural methane gas and an organic, nutrient-rich suspension material called biofluent. First, the gas. Once extracted, the gas is cleaned and prepped to effectively optimize its capacity as a combustible fuel. Some of this clean methane is piped to Biotown Ag's on-site engine room, where it's burned to power a series of generators that run non-stop 24-7, putting up to 120 megawatt hours of renewable electricity directly onto the public utility grid. At the same time, some of the methane is routed to another corner of the farm, where it's directly injected into the public utility's natural gas system and distributed out to the utility's customer base, serving as a true renewable natural gas, or RNG. In a groundbreaking joint venture with Green Rock, a leading green energy investment firm, the farm launched Biotown Biogas in 2023. Today, this separate business enterprise is structured to deliver the environmental attributes of the farm's RNG to transportation fuel companies in states like California, demonstrating how far Biotown Egg's sustainability efforts are making a positive impact. Meanwhile, some of that same RNG is also used on-site to fuel Biotown Egg's own fleet of commercial trucks. But that's not it for the gas. Being a closed-loop process means exploring every nuance of efficiency and operation. In this case, the remainder of the gas is recirculated back into the bottom of the digester to continuously agitate the material inside in a method of simulating the necessary boiling effect. Again, just like an animal's stomach. At the same time, the heat dissipated by the working generators isn't wasted either. Technicians have devised a method to recapture it and redirect it back to the digester as well, in an effort to maintain the system's necessary 101 degree Fahrenheit temperature. The rest of that heat is then used in a heat exchange process that conditions the air in the offices, shops, and warehouses. While all this is going on, the nutrient-rich biofluent coming out of the digester is processed by a mechanized separator. It happens in what's called the clean water room. And it's yet another important phase of Biotown Ag's trailblazing model of sustainability. Foremost in this process, the farm is able to extract a high-value natural fertilizer that's marketed under the biofluent name to other farms in the region for use in their corn and soybean production. In addition, experts have also developed a full-scale composting operation on-site with humus fields that produce a certified organic, nutrient-dense fertilizer. All of it naturally rich in important minerals that deliver the highest grade of agricultural value. What's so encouraging about these materials is the impact they stand to have, not just at the grassroots level on local farms, but potentially on the broader plane of the Earth's agricultural landscape. This is because unlike commercial fertilizers known as NPK for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, Biotown Ag's natural fertilizers deliver a more dynamic nutrient profile. They too are rich in NPK, but they also include countless other micronutrients inherent in virgin land. Nutrients like sulfur, magnesium, zinc, boron, calcium, and other essential minerals that, over the last hundred years, have been slowly and methodically stripped away by production agriculture. The remarkable result of adding these micronutrients back into the soil 
is already evident on local farms where Biotown Ag's material often outperforms commercial fertilizer applications. But imagine, what if the Biotown Ag sustainability model became more widespread, replenishing these nutrients back into soils on a larger scale? Imagine the impact it could have on agricultural stewardship and productivity worldwide. Further, Biotown Ag's process is also significantly reducing the depletion of natural nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium resources used in the manufacture of commercial fertilizers. In fact, in addition to the annual carbon emission and waste material savings that come by virtue of its renewable energy production, Biotown Ag is currently saving more than 70,000 tons of natural mined and produced NPK every year. But what about what's left over from the fertilizer process? Again, this creatively resourceful farm leaves nothing to waste. The water that remains when the fertilizer is extracted is returned to the digester to dilute the material coming in. With all that, Biotown Ag's complete model of sustainability begins to come into focus. Back out in the fields where the operation's fertilizers are applied, farmers grow and harvest crops, some of which make their way back to Biotown Ag, where they're mixed with the incoming byproduct from corporate food companies, which is then fed to the livestock, and on and on the cycle goes, making the entire sophisticated operation literally a soil-to-soil closed-loop process. Not just one that provides food and fuel for the outside world, but one that's attaining the seemingly impossible goal of making beef production a net zero practice. But the story, the innovation, doesn't stop there. At Biotown Ag, perhaps what is most exciting is the ambition. The drive to forever seek new ways to improve efficiency, and yes, extract even more value from waste further venturing out into the otherwise uncharted territory of sustainability in agriculture. For example, the team recently completed a heat reclamation system for a commercial dryer, and next sees the potential to develop and market more high-nutrient proteins, or perhaps add a greenhouse to the operation for the sale of vegetables, or its own beef processing facility, or it's quite possible the next incredible outcome isn't even on the farm's radar yet. At the end of the day, what you are about to see here at Biotown Ag truly is sustainability for the real world. However, like the real world, Biotown Ag never sits still. Its pursuits and innovation are perpetual, and the operation is constantly evolving. In fact, should you ever decide to make a return visit sometime down the road, you'll likely be surprised all over again. In the meantime, join us as we all keep our sights on an even brighter, healthier, more glorious future for ourselves and generations to come.